Yo guys, it's Clay here, back with another YouTube video. Today we're going to be checking out the most underrated Lapa class setup in Black Ops Cold War. Before getting into today's class setup, if you could hit that sub button if you're new, we are so close to 2,000 subscribers. And also hit that like button. Hitting the like button is the easiest way to support my channel and it pushes the video out into YouTube algorithm so other people can see it. Another way to help out with the YouTube algorithm is to comment something in the comments. It, it could be about the channel or it could just be a random emoji. Anything helps. Alright, so before getting into the attachments, I will say I do not recommend using this gun unless you're, of course, trying to get dark matter or gold on it. But if you are going to use it for that specific reason, I highly suggest using this class setup. I am running the Microflex LED on the optic. You can use whichever one you prefer. On the muzzle, I'm going to be using the infantry compensator for the 12% added to the vertical recoil control. On the barrel, I'm using the 7.9 inch light tactical barrel and it adds 3% to the damage and 4% to the fire rate. Now it does lose a lot of effective damage range and bullet, but it brings the damage all the way up to 36 and the fire rate to 722 rounds per minute. And I feel like the Lapa really does struggle with fire rate. You can use the 8.9 inch extended barrel or the reinforced barrel. It does add fire rate and effective damage range. And this also adds bullet velocity, but it takes off some damage. So it's not gonna hit as hard. On the underbarrel, I just threw on the field agent grip. It adds to the vertical recoil control and horizontal recoil control. And on the magazine, I'm using the 40 round mag. You can use whichever one of these you prefer. If you guys end up trying this class setup out or you change some of the attachments around, let me know what those are in the comments. I have a crazy gameplay for you guys. I hope you guys enjoy. Hit that like button and I'll see you in the next one. I guess that isn't bad. Oh no, it does block the score. No. I wanted to move it. That's good. Let's go ahead and mute our teammates. As much as I hate using the Lapa, I can gladly say this is my last time that I'm probably going to be posting this gun. How did, how did he get all the way back there? My hands are freezing right now. Where are the rest of the guys at? Oh. Bullet velocity is so bad on this gun. Teammate was destroying them right there. The last time I played Nuketown, I dropped 104 kills without dying, I think, or three deaths or something. What? Wow. Okay. that guy just so he won't snipe me. Oh, he's sniping too. No, he's not. What? Was he not sniping? I could have swore. My hands are freezing. I cannot even play. Is anybody else like that? Like, you just play in your hands...
see the lap is just not good to be doing that. <clears throat> Get over there. He spawned literally right next to me. In the lapper, I thought I had this thing leveled up. I guess not. I'm dead. I am getting. See, I almost lose gunfights because of this gun. What is that noise, bro? Why do you got like TikTok playing and open mics? Dead again. No. I don't know what to do. You're so annoying. You. I guess I'm gonna pop the harp and try to do something with the war machine. I mean, that's the only thing I can think of. The fact that he almost killed me with that. I'm getting my kills taken because this gun is so bad. Literally have to play for my war machine.
I spawned mid. Teammate got him. I don't know what to do. He's. Teammate, move out the way. I almost didn't get that. Actually, I would have been very upset if I didn't get this new. What are you doing? Ninety one and eleven GG's. Wait, the game's still going, I thought it was gonna end. Alright, ninety one and eleven GG's.